The seasonal community day is almost upon us, set to launch May 14th. Literally just now, Sea of Thieves have released a teaser for the Season 6 Sea of Thieves community day. So we're going to take a look at it, then we're going to delve into the article they released about it, so you know everything that's going to be happening on May 14th. The Sea of Thieves community is full of incredible people, all worthy of admiration and celebration. And that's just what we like to do with our regular Sea of Thieves community day. So join us for a new Sea of Thieves community day to celebrate you, the amazing Sea of Thieves community. You can grab exclusive in-game rewards, including a commemorative flag and the wing flap emote for free. We'll be running Twitch drops where the Gilded Phoenix Banjo could be yours. There's a sale in the Pirate Emporium with a variety of items featuring hefty discounts. And there's even a sale in our merchandise store too. You'll also benefit from fixed boosts to our in-game gold and XP rewards. And through our special social media community event, you, the community, will be in control of the multiplier for Renown as well. So join us on May 14th as we celebrate you, the wonderful pirates of the Sea of Thieves, with an all-new Sea of Thieves Community Day. Okay then, so pretty standard for a Sea of Thieves community day, same teaser, the second one in the works. So then let's go through what they've officially announced on the article. And the first thing of that is the Emissary Grade. Just like they did last time, tweeting the hashtag Sea of Thieves community day will raise the Emissary Grade. A quick recap if you've forgotten or don't know how this works if you're new to Sea of Thieves. On community day, they'll be launching a community Emissary Grade, which will be lasting for the weekend. During this weekend, you'll see in-game the Community Day tab, and under this you'll see various tweet goals. If you tweet using the hashtag Sea of Thieves Community Day, this will go up. So every time we hit a tweet threshold, be it 100 tweets using the hashtag 500, the Community Emissary Code will raise, and it can go all the way up to 3.5 times Emissary. Last time we hit this within a few hours, it was really easy to do, so perhaps they'll be increasing the tweet goal this time. Who knows? We'll have to see. The next thing to note about Community Day is that you always get a free flag and a moat whenever you log in on the day. This time it is a spring themed flag and a spring themed moat that you literally just get for logging on on the day of Community Day, so between 10am UTC on Saturday and 10am UTC on the Sunday. The funny thing to note about this is that the flag was actually leaked on Twitter accidentally by a developer. It was just a little icon he was showing his computer screen and everyone immediately knew that it was the Community Day flag. The next thing that they'll be doing is sales. As mentioned in the trailer, Pirate Emporium sales, Rare Merchandise sale, whatever you want, there will be sales, but they'll only be for 24 hours. They mentioned here on the article that all their non-collector's pets will be half price, and all pet outfits will be a mere 99 ancient coins. And as well as this, on the Rare Merchandise store, if you use the code Community Day at the checkout, you'll be knocked off 30% on your order, so perfect if you've been eyeing some merch that you really want to buy. The next thing to note about Community Day is that they give a lot, and we mean a lot, of Hat of Unfeasibly Glorious fame out. If you don't know what these are, basically on Twitter, if you use the hashtag BeMorePirate and tag it with a creation of yours, you have a chance of winning a monthly competition, where four pirates get to win a rare hat in-game. And on Community Day, if you use the hashtag BeMorePirate, they dish these out throughout the entire day. They give absolutely loads of these, and they're constantly checking their social channels. So if there's someone that's been previously unsung that you think deserves a hat, something special in-game for doing a special creation, or just being an overall general good player, then tweets at Sea of Thieves with the Be More Pirate hashtag with their creation or whatever. The final thing you need to note is Twitch drops. As mentioned in the trailer, again, the Gilded Phoenix Banjo will be available during the 24-hour time frame of Community Day, May 14th to May 15th, 10 a.m. UTC. And to claim it, you just need to watch any participating Sea of Thieves streamer for at least 20 minutes during that time frame. A new thing which they didn't do last Community Day was they're going to be doing their own special Community Day broadcast live from their on-site Tavern 2. Which is going to be exciting, hopefully they might leak some things, maybe for Season 7, so hopefully we'll keep an eye out for that. 
The final, final thing they mention is that if you didn't know, last community day, there were a lot of strawberry beard errors. Basically, people couldn't get in, so people were getting frustrated because, you know, they advertised this big day that everyone planned for, cleared out their schedules for, and no one could get into the servers. But this time they've mentioned that they are ready. They've battered down the hatches and will have their crew ready to patch any leaky holes. And they say, rest assured, we've done everything we can to ensure as many of you as possible can enjoy the day. But anyway, there you go. That is everything you need to know about the Sea of Thieves Season 6 Community Day. Due to the in-game multipliers, if you haven't had a chance to properly grind out the Legend of the Veil yet, that is going to be an absolute prime time to do it. With the multipliers easily going up to 3.5 for a couple days, even though it's a fairly short period of time, that is insane. But make sure to be on the lookout, because there are going to be a lot of people intending on sinking you. Because it is, again, such a hyped up event, so many people try and log in, so there's going to be a lot of danger to it. But anyway, that does bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like. It helps out a ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. Because this absolutely came out of nowhere. And hopefully we'll be getting some more Season 70s as soon as well. But anyway, apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.